Happy Monday, fellow wine club members. I hope it's Monday. I think it's Monday. Yeah, it's, Monday. Yeah. it's a great okay, start great. of the week. What a great start of the week. Uh, I'm Tim McHenry, the founder and CEO of our incredible wine club. And we have a great hour-ish entailed for you. We only can keep it to an hour because we're in Fabio Viviani's home. And if you can see behind me, um, I'm going to need some, uh, to spend some time with Fabio on the couch, uh, uh, eating popcorn and drinking some of his uh, incredible bourbon selection tonight. Um, so what a great host to let us come to his home. And so uh, with the great host, uh, a gentleman who I call one of my best friends, uh, both personally and professionally, he's done so much great stuff for us. We've got, uh, I don't know, a little something to celebrate uh, tonight, right? So Fabio, is, yeah. some of this might... Uh, some of this might ring a bell to you if you've watched, uh, I don't know, late night television for some time. But um, I think Fabio is our first and only 10-timer, um, 10-time club presenter. What? And so we have a little something special for Fabio tonight. Well-deserved and totally incredible. So Fabio, we'd like to welcome you as the first member of our Cooper's Hawk, 10-time oh, club. Here's your I, Cooper's Hawk, 10-time. Oh, man. Put this on you for a I love this. You don't this. have to cook with it tonight, but <laughs> we have to see if it's good. Oh, of man. Of course it fits. Of course it fits. I'm, I'm like, it out. wait, wait, wait. Is it? <laughs> Look at that, like a glove. It's like, like a, a glove. Like a glove. I, lo I lost the, the wind uh, things with the microphone here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at that, man. So, I feel like you, Hefner. Yeah, right now, it's but cooler, <laughs> like with, with so, wines and no women's. <laughs> so Fabio, like no this. one, no one has come close. But this is uh, you probably even know this, but this is the tenth time you've done an event with us. It's amazing, right? and you know it's been a blessing, guys. You know the ability to have you guys in my life as friends, uh, as you know team for me. I look up. I'm trying to catch up with him. I'll never <laughs> happen. But 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 uh, you know as a professionally inspiring and the, just the friendship overall. Yeah. You guys have been great people, and uh, I'm fortunate. I, I don't count the good time that I have with people. So I had no idea I've been with you guys 10 times, but thank you. Yeah. It means a lot. You all mean a lot. You guys are part of a big family, the biggest family in, in wine in the world. This is the biggest wine club in the world, and it's more like a family than a wine club. You guys have done amazing, and, and I'm honored and a privilege to, to be part of this. I love this. This little, I'm going to show this to people. They have no idea what it is, but I'm going to still show it to them. I'm going to be like, just so you know, I'm at 10 timers. They're going to be like, what? I'm like, don't worry about it. Just move on. Go keep going. <laughs> I like this. It's awesome. I like, for you. I like this yeah, a lot. Like I, like chef jacket. So I love it. We, we have an incredible, I'll take it. I'm not gonna let you right, perfect. We have an incredible <laughs> evening for you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's very expensive, you know. Yeah, so I believe we, it. we have an incredible evening for you. Uh, we uh, we did a very special bread on the first time we ever uh, did an event, and uh, this is our cheesy pull apart bread. Now we only do this for events, and the first time I ever gave Fabio this bread, we were I'll never forget. We were standing on the line. <laughs> yes. I said, Hey Fabio, this is the bread we're serving. Try tonight. try this bread. You try said. Try this bread. And I'm like, I don't want bread. We're gonna have dinner later. And you were like, No, try this bread. Your eyes rolled back in your head. It was I'll amazing. never forget it. This so, is uh, the reason. This is one of the reason why I'm not in a in a like a men's health magazine kind of shape right now, <laughs> because this bread. I mean, look, look, there is a, there is something to it, right? I'm a little, I'm a little bit round. Um, you know, COVID, God blame COVID, but I've been like this for the last 10 years. But anyway, um, you know, round is a shape, and this bread is contributing to my beautiful shape of non-shape. So this bread is amazing. Uh, I don't know what kind of cheeses you put on top of this, but last time I had, I still dream about it. And I appreciate you, my friend, Absolutely. for bringing also more than we're going to eat tonight. So I have leftover. Yeah. That's oh, important. It's all about I, the yeah, leftover. We always want to take care of you. Absolutely. So, you know, I, we trust that you've uh, had a little bit of bread to start. You've had your gnocchi. Yes. And uh, our pairings for the evening, we have our, you know, nothing but the best for you. I, so we have you. our Lux Chardonnay and our oh. Lux Pinot Noir. They both go great with the gnocchi. We're going to finish up with some Mom's Tiramisu. Which, by the way, both of them are a, a permanent feature in my wine cellar. Yes. I have them yeah, back I there. Thought, Absolutely yeah. delicious stuff. And then we're going to finish up with, uh, obviously, a story about Mom's Tiramisu. Tiramisu, later. yeah. So, we got a lot of chickens mm -hmm. growing up, eggs, eggs and sugars, mm -hmm. the base for Tiramisu. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a good story for that. Well, hey, let's get started, Fabio. I'm going to head awesome. back in the kitchen. You guys finish Ooh, your yeah, thing. We'll up get in a Fabio. second. So remember, folks, to post some pictures on Instagram, your favorite stories, your favorite pictures from this evening, and we're going to have a great night for you all. Awesome. Ready? Thanks for being here. Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you. <clears throat>
All right, guys, so now I'm in charge, which means that for the next 45 minutes or so, we are going to learn the basic of gnocchi making. Now, the good news for you is that whether you're about to eat them, you're eating them right now, or you ate them already, it doesn't matter because you're gonna learn how to actually make them, which means that this virtual event will go down in history as the most informative cooking class you've ever attended. Now, we also gonna talk about tiramisu and we also gonna talk about the cheesy bread, but let's focus on gnocchi for a second, all right? So now gnocchi, it's nothing else than the mixing of potatoes, flour, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and nutmeg. Now you don't need an Italian guy to teach America how to bake a potato. That's a fact. Now, if, by the way, if you do need an Italian guy to teach you how to make a potato, you don't deserve to make gnocchi in first place, right? So bake potato in America, how do you bake a potato? Jeez, you just get the damn things in the oven, you poke them with a fork, you wrap them with foil, you put some salt on it or not, you slather it with butter, put them in the microwave, I don't care. Gnocchi is not a pretentious dish. Gnocchi is a delicacy that is a staple in Italian cooking, but the process, it's easy. Now, if we were French, by the way, with all due respect for my French folks out there, if there is any French people looking at the show, just so you know, I love you. We just do a lot of things better than you guys, like wine, food, cars, definitely. I can't remember of a French car worth to be named, maybe a Citroën. But whatever. Anyway, I love French. French fries, for example, is a great thing French I love. But gnocchi can't be made in the French way. It's just too complicated. You're going to burn your finger. It just doesn't work. Give it up, folks. Italian way to make gnocchi. So let's start with a basic potato. Now, I don't have a whole potato right now because it's not the point. The point is that you got to be able to have a baked potato, right? Whether you bake it, a whole baker potato, uh, 375 degrees in the oven, or you microwave it, as long as, as long as you can have potato flesh, just like this, you're on your way, you're on your way to gnocchi success. So what that means, let me explain you what this means, right? So what this means is that once you bake a potato, and you cut the potato in half while it's still hot. First of all, don't burn yourself, use a towel. But once you cut the potato in half, you're gonna have potato flesh. Now the potato flesh, you just gotta treat them the same way that you would treat mashed potato. What I mean by that? Smash them, ground them, put it through a food meal, just chop them up as long as I want you to zoom on this. As long as the potato are fine cooked like these, then you're good to go. All right, so here's what we got. Very few ingredients for gnocchi making, right? First of all, of course, you got a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, I mean, if you don't have salt and pepper in your household, why are you even bothering attending a Zoom virtual cooking class? Seriously. Now, you got flour, all-purpose flour. Italian are known to be cheap dates. We don't use fancy flour. We use all purpose double zero flour, which is the basic entry level flour that anyone can do. Now, if maybe in a future class, we're gonna make Roman style gnocchi or semolina gnocchi, then we're gonna use something fancier. But the first timer, I suggest to stick with plain white flour, all right? So then we have nutmeg. Nutmeg is the reason, nutmeg is a spice that come in a form of a nut. It's just a round spice that I suggest you to buy the ground nutmeg. It's just easier to handle because otherwise you would have a microplane and ground the nutmeg yourself. Nutmeg is the reason why America love eggnog. You know eggnog? America love eggnog because of the nutmeg. Not because of the 42% alcohol by volume, not because of the 100 grams of sugar per gallon. <laughs> America loves eggnog because of the nutmeg. Earthy, depth, flavor, fantastic reminiscence of the holiday. Absolutely delicious. So here's what we do. And then the king of cheeses. 
Now, I need to take a moment here to introduce you grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I get it. Fine. America, you have Wisconsin. Okay, that's cool, bro. But the reality is that Wisconsin didn't invent Parmesan cheese. Italy did. And Parmesan cheese is where every, every single cheese in Wisconsin wants to be when it dies and go to heaven. By the way, I have restaurants in Wisconsin. I love Wisconsin. I'm not talking Wisconsin down. I'm just saying that we have the ultimate cheese, which is Parmesan from Italy. And that is a key element of our gnocchi. Now, also, you probably already had this because the Cooper's Hawk kit come and you just got to assemble and cook few things. But few ingredients for the sauce or heavy cream, European style heavy cream, rich in fat, creamy, buttery, delicious. You have garlic and you have shallots. You have a little bit of truffle paste. Truffle paste, by the way, when done by an Italian guy, truffle paste is mostly truffle and some mushroom. This is one of the key element in truffle sauce. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. All right. Then you have some crispy pancetta which we sent you already seared. You're welcome, by the way, because this is not easy to make, but we made it for you. Matt, it's a rock star. You guys are really lucky to be part of a club with a chef that understand the basic of cooking and the way to crisp things up. Look at this beauty. This could be a coin. This should be currency. Literally, you could trade this for labor. I love this. All right, and then crispy sage, crispy sage, brown butter, absolutely delicious. Now, let's get some gnocchi done, all right? Like I said, you guys should be able, next time you wanna make gnocchi, to cook baked potato. I have about a pound and a half to two pounds of baked potato right here, and I'm adding this to the food processor. Food processor, food processor with a blade attachment. Now the blade attach, I'm sorry, not blade attachment, um, paddle attachment. Now that's an odd paddle. That's the one thing I never understand about America. You give attribute to things that are not what they look like. This is not a paddle, it has holes in it. You can't paddle your way out of getting chased by the goldfish in a lake if you have this kind of paddle. But I guess the outer layer, it's kind of a shape of a paddle. So get yourself a mixer with a paddle attachment unless you want to do this by hand. But what are we French? Don't do that. It's a waste of time. Now, paddle attachment, nutmeg. A little bit of nutmeg, about a teaspoon of nutmeg, and we have a good pinch of salt. When you pinch salt, make sure you mean it. What do I mean by that? I mean by that, if you listen to Food Network, Rachel Ray, Freaking Martha Stewart, Barefoot Contessa. I feel they all have like blood pressure problem because they tell you to pinch salt with two finger. What is this? It's nothing. I mean, legit guys, we're American. We take more salt when we do tequila shots. Pinch with three finger, like you pinch your loved one butt. You ever pinch your wife's butt, your husband butt? You gotta go with the three finger pinch. Two fingers, like weird. It's like, it's like odd. It's like really, really weird. Three finger pinch is a good pinch. Look at that. Look at that. It's a lot of salt there. Two, three finger pinch, and you have your salt in. Then Parmesan. I already talked about Parmesan. I'm not going to talk about it again. Parmesan is currency of the gods. Shaved Parmesan, literally, it's, it's a price possession. Not the fake Parmesan, the most supermarket sell that is made somewhere in Ohio. We're talking about real 18 to 24 month Parmesan age in Italy, which is what Cooper Zock serves in all the restaurants. Only the best for you folks, because if you are part of the largest wine club in the world, literally, stop for a moment and think. You are part of the largest wine club in the world. It's amazing. You need to have the real things. You can't have like a, a mock fake faux Parmesan coming from America. Nothing wrong with cheese coming from America. I love cheese coming from America. It's just the Parmesan. Now we're gonna we're gonna up this. 
Then we're gonna lower this and we're gonna blend it, mix it for like 10 seconds. All right, there. Now we're gonna open this. That wasn't even 10 seconds, that was probably two seconds or three, but who's counting? You're gonna have wine right now. So timing is an opinion. It doesn't have to be precise. So now we have about two pounds of potato there, pound and a half to two pounds. So I'm gonna add about a cup of flour. By the way, since we are Cooper Zock are awesome, where is the pamphlet? Right here. We sent you this, right? This is fancy, by the way. You know how much? This is a lot of money to print this thing. It's really fancy. Like, they bear no expenses for this kind of event. You have the recipe. You have the rundown of the evening. You have an actual recipe. Truffle gnocchi. Look at that. Bam. You have the recipe. I find the recipe to be use, useless. You know, I'm a kind of by handful kind of guy. Recipes to me, yeah, I mean, you need their guideline. It's like, you know, it's like traffic laws. Speed, speed limits, right? <laughs> I mean, 60, 70, 80, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. But recipe, they're useful if you're very precise. Like if you're the kind of guy that irons his own underwear or socks, then you're probably going to need a recipe, which is fine. Because if you follow a recipe, you're going to have a decent result. But knowing how to fix and adjust the recipe is the key for a great success in cooking. So now we're going to add about a cup. I add a few there. I'm going to add about a cup of flour to it. And we're going to get the potato mix. So the potato are going to mix right now. The goal, is to, um, the goal is to have the moisture from the potato absorb the flour, the gluten, the cheese, the salt, pepper, and the nutmeg. By the way, I didn't put pepper on it. I forgot about pepper. I forgot about pepper. Pepper. Now I'm gonna mix this for about a minute. As the gnocchi mix, I wanna get to the sauce, all right? So I'm gonna turn on a fire on medium low. I'm gonna add garlic to it. I'm gonna add shallots to it. And I'm gonna add extra virgin olive oil. Now, garlic, shallots, and extra virgin olive oil are going to caramelize for a few minutes, maybe like two minutes on medium low. And as soon as this is caramelized, I'm going to add a little bit of European style heavy cream, and I'm going to add a little bit of more Parmesan cheese. The only measurement units that is worth to mention for Parmesan cheese is all of it. All of it. Why would you want to left Parmesan cheese behind? What's the point in there? What are you going to let? Look at it while it's in the fridge? No. Add more Parmesan in the recipe and make yourself happy. Guys, come on. Seriously. It's not that you let, you know what? Huh. I have some, uh, I have some, uh, I have some cooked ham left over. Who gives a crap? It's cooked ham. I have some, uh, oh, I have some, uh, whatever, like cabbage left over. <laughs> it's, it's cabbage. Give it to your chickens. Who cares? Parmesan. I have Parmesan cheese left over. Are you crazy? You could have put more of it and be happier. That's the goal. So I got Parmesan in here. I got Parmesan for the cream. I'm going to combine it, and I'm going to have no Parmesan left behind. All right? Now, here. Here's what I got now. Look, check this out. I want to check you two things. Number one, zoom on the pan. See how nice this is caramelizing? You see that? I wish this was like, get up. I wish this was like smelly vision. It smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. I like that. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper in it. No, no, please take note of the wrist game. Look how fast I'm going. 
That's experience. Look at that. I'm moving both hands at the same time. Then I'm going to add a little pinch of salt here. There. This is not caramelized yet. There is a difference between caramelized and burn. Burn is when garlic is black. And burn garlic only pair well with one thing, the garbage can. You can't burn garlic and save the day. If you burn garlic, you got to start over. Don't fool yourself. You can't save burn garlic. Let me get closer to you. You can't save burn garlic. We're going to know. We're going to call you out, guys. It's not good. Now, look at this. Brown garlic, thumbs up. Black garlic, thumbs down. Look at that. Brown garlic. And the shallots, it's nice and... Uh, it's nice and um, kind of getting loose, like translucent. Kind of, look at that. The garlic is brown and the shallots is cooking. So here's what we're gonna do now. Look at this. I'm gonna add European style cream to it because this is a wonderful cream sauce. Look at that, whoa. All right, there. Now, I'm gonna lower this because now it's all about the gnocchi. Get a little closer. Can I call you like Video Village? Video Village is the people that do the video. I like that. Look at this inside. This is went from cooked potato to a dough. Wait, let me lower it for you. Look at that. From cooked potato to a dough. How cool is this? Seriously. Look at that. All right? Check this out. The reason being is because right now we are it's kind of a it's kind of a having like an adult play dough right look i squeeze it but it doesn't stick to my hand see look at that beautiful right so now here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put the cheese right here i'm gonna put the flour in the back i'm gonna get the garlic the salt out of the way i'm gonna get this out of the way i'm gonna get these out of the way All right, I got my wine. I don't want to drop these. Bobby, we have a question. Please, Can question. You explain European style cream. Okay, so he, by the way, I apologize for missing one uh, fundamental piece of information. I got excited about the gnocchi. You guys are viewing these on a Zoom conference call. So you guys can ask a bunch of questions in the chat box and I will be happy to address you on anything that has to do with the cooking now and personal or private or like weird question later. A lot to answer that. European style cream, higher concentration of fat, higher concentration of nutrient. Like it's a European style butter, 80% plus fat content. Heavy cream, European style, 42 to 50% plus content of fat material, right? It's a denser, richer, thicker cream. Not the diluted stuff that America puts in their coffees. We have the real heavy duty things, right? It, European style cream is like the Gorilla Glue of glue. It's like it really heavy, like it's really strong, all right? That's European style cream, all right? So now here's what we got. We got the sauce mixing. We got the pepper, the salt, the shallots, the garlic, the cream. Now, right here, I have the gnocchi dough. What? Yep. Got the gnocchi dough. Now, the gnocchi dough, we're going to do like this. Look, flip it. Then, there. All right. So we got it there, and here's what we got. Now, I'm going to take out the wedding ring because, God forbid, I'm going to lose this again. I lost once my wedding ring making ravioli. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> it went out of my finger and he ended up in somebody's ravioli. So kiss the ring, put it in your pocket. You got to do that because if the wife is watching the demo, you got to make sure that you only take it away if you got to cook something. So then we're going to go right here, right? We have gnocchi dough. A couple of slap to it. Deserves it. Look at that. I like it. See, look at that beautiful gnocchi dough there. I'm going to get a little bit of flour here. Not much. You don't need a lot of flour for gnocchi. Look at that. That beautiful dough. Cooked potato. Look at this thing, 
Ready? So check this out now. Boom. Then, look at that. Do you know how you know you have a good dough? Get close to me, but get my face too, it's important. You have, you have a good dough when you don't have a lot of air pockets. It's important. That means that the, the stand-up mixer with the paddle attachment has mixed the dough enough to not create a lot of hair pockets. Look at that. If there is hair pockets, the dough is going to fall apart. If you don't have hair pockets, this is what's going to happen. Look, you can stretch it. Look at this. What? Yep. Okay. Okay, question. Question, what please. What kind of potatoes are you using? Oh. Second, so if, if the dough is a little wet, what do you add, potato or flour? All right, so first of all, the, let me answer the second question first, then we go to the potato. If the dough is a little wet, you add more flour. Now, with a stand-up mixer like I have, all you got to do is spat get a spatula, something like this. Like a wooden spoon or a spatula, and take the edges off the bowl and add a little bit of flour. Now, this is a great device, right? This is a cooking tools. This is a wooden spoon. In Italy, it, you, you can taste things with it. Like, for example, in test my cream, right? Mm, delicious. In Italy, you also, this is, in Italy is also a mood adjustment device. <laughs> what I mean by that, now you're like five, six or seven years old in Italy, you misbehave, you're gonna get one of these cracked on the back of your head or on your butt. <laughs> My grandmother, strong will woman, she used to have the aim of a marine dam sniper. She could have been 50 feet away from me, throw these and hit me in the back of the head. These in America is a cooking tools. In Italy, is, a, is literally a learning tools. You misbehave yourself, you're going to get one of these cracked on your back. Deal with it. Now, by no mean and no way I'm incentivizing anybody to beat your children. All I'm saying is that if you grew up in Italy, you remember this because you still have some bruises from it. Now, with this, you can scrape the edges of a bowl, add a little bit of flour if the dough is too wet, and still get the great dough that I have right here. So now what I have, it's like kind of a, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a cigar shaped um, kind of um, uh, form here, right? I'm gonna shape these with both hands. Look how beautiful is this, look at that. Two, then I'm gonna do three, look at that. Three, see these, look at that, beautiful, look at that. Now I'm gonna kind of make them equal, right, right there. Like that. Now a little bit of flour to it. Look at that. Bam. So now here's what we got. Ready for this? One. Look at this. Now, here's what I got for you guys. I got to show you something. Pork. I've done this once for my wife because I only had to wow her once. First date. It was like, you know, it was like a big deal. My wife agreed to a date with me what I actually cook. So I wanted to make everything perfect. Now, if you need to wow somebody... You're going to get smooth gnocchi like this. You're going to roll them on the back of the fork like this. And you're going to make the ridges. Look how adorable. Look how cute this is. Look at that. Ridges gnocchi. There's only one advantage to this. Look at that. Is that you have the ability as a gnocchi to retain more sauce. Look at that. See? Now... To be honest with you, I love my wife dearly. I would do anything for her. I just cannot see myself any longer do these to 200 gnocchi for a dinner for two. This is, takes way too damn time. So look at that. I'm making gnocchi there. Look at that. Beautiful, look at that. Now, if you want to impress somebody, do this once. Have them marry you and then you give them smooth gnocchi and you give them a damn spoon to pick the sauce up. They don't need the no ridges. 
Look at this. Don't need the damn ridges. It takes too long. Look at that. See that? That's what grandma used to do. Grandma used to do the, 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 the thingy, the ridges. Look at that. See that? I'm making all of it just because you guys are friends. Oh, because you guys are friends of Cooper Zock. And because you guys are friends of Cooper Zock, I want to look, I want to make sure my gnocchi looks really fancy. Because at the end of the day, I'm making gnocchi for the largest wine club in the world. That thanks to Tim McHenry genius and expertise and vision, this has become a 15 years in the making reality. And thanks to Matt McKilling culinary expertise and genius, you guys get all the all, eat all the good stuff. But do you think I'm gonna actually make ridges on gnocchi for a lot of people? Hell no. You nuts? I, I'm growing like a, a wider beard than I already have doing this. If this was my gnocchi, I would have been already eating them smooth. I don't do this for many people. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. Bam, bam. Look at that. There, 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 and there. They have to applause. They're friends of mine. I mean, seriously. Matt and Tim, they have to applause. They have no choice. I could literally have everything burning down in flame right now, and they still have to act like it's going super smooth. But this is actually going super smooth because I'm a culinary legend, and, and this is what I do for a living. So whether they agree or not, this is like the best things you've ever seen. So look at this. Gnocchi in the water, all right? So gnocchi in the water and gnocchi in the water. There, right? So now, let's talk about a couple of things that we have to do before we plate this. I have a fancy plate. Fancy plate for a fancy wine club. I love this. Look at this. We got the cream here, all right? See how the cream got nice and dense? See this? This is delicious, look at that. Look at that, super dense. I love this. Now, at home, you also had the chance to add some protein to it. We sent you some beautiful pulled chicken. So I'm going to add some chicken to it right here. Just like that, right? Some chicken meat, extra protein. Who doesn't want that? I love it. So now what we have, it's the gatherer sauce. This is truffle sauce with mushroom. I love these things. Man, I love this so much. It's absolutely delicious. I think about it, it's ground truffle with this alien mushroom. I mean, what, <laughs> seriously, what, do you, what would you like, a bow on top of that to make it better? It's freaking delicious. I'm gonna put all of it. Okay, all of it. What are you gonna save it? This is another thing that is absolutely stupid to save. Why would you wanna save this? For what, for tomorrow? Just get the damn things and just use the whole thing. Look at that. Beautiful. There. Look at that. What? Yep. We got this. Now, Parmesan cheese. Let's remind everybody what we're going to do with the cheese. We're going to add all of it. You haven't heard me say that the first time? Look at that. All the cheese. There. There. Then we're going to add some more on top of it. All right? So now, check this out. I have gnocchi there. I'm going to turn the water up a little bit. I just got to let this boil for a second. As soon as they come up, they are absolutely ready. All right. Then I have, because us, friends of Cooper Zock, we like to spoil our friends and guests. This is a big, that's a big ass truffle. Damn. That's a big Italian truffle. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shave most of it on the food. And because we don't do return policy, I'm not gonna give it back to Matt. This is gonna go right into my fridge, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. This is the truffle shaver, which is a fancy blade that will literally give you a manicure if you're not careful. But if you are careful, you just zip in the truffle on it. Hopefully you don't get your finger because you all get cut. But for chefs, it's easy, all right? So here's what we're gonna do. Look at the gnocchi, see how they boil? Look at that, they're floating. There. 
there. Question. Question, where, where please. Where do you buy the truffle mushroom mix? All right. I would like to know where you are calling from so I could tell you where to buy it, but Whole Food, Whole Food has some version of it. But I tell you what, I may call completely my Allen this. If you're friends of Cooper Zock, I want to believe, because I would do it for my guests, I want to believe that if you send an email to the manager of the restaurant, they might be able to hook you up with a little cup or two. And if they can't, call me, and I'm going to yell at them. You want to call me? FabioViviani.com. Send me an email. Send me an email saying, hey, Matt is not following through with it. I need to get some truffle sauce. Truffle sauce, it's a product that you find in higher-end um, higher grocery stores, um, higher-end chains, and uh, you're probably going to find also online, right? And I don't know if you, do you guys sell it? So what we did was we, we actually used the canned truffles and we put them directly in the sauce. Oh, yeah. It's directly in the sauce. Fancy people. Yeah. <laughs> they use the real truffle. No, because this is the real truffle anyway, the truffle sauce, right? They use like big truffle. They put it into directly into the sauce. So no, you can't do that. You can only do that if you're friends of Cooper Zock. But if you're a normal like mortal, like a normal person, ever a Joe like me, and you want truffle sauce, just type in Amazon truffle sauce or whole food truffle sauce. And there is a lot of brands. Buy a few of them, see what you like and stick with it. They're very easy to find. They're not cheap because probably you're going to pay like, you know, 30, 40 bucks for six, eight ounces of it, but it's totally worth it. Completely worth it. And by the way, you're going to need a lot less than I put here. I'm just a maniac for it and just put all of it. Right. So look at that. All right. So now here's what we got. Here's what we got. I'm going to need a spoon. Things is my own house with my own kitchen because I know where things are. Look at that. All right. So here's what we got. Dun, 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 dun. Also, by the way, we'll talk for a second about the little extra uh, sauce that Matt created for everybody, which I'm going to do it right now. So look at this. First of all, we're going to get the truffle gnocchi and the chicken. And we're going to put that in a place, in a plate. Other, there. There. And there. All right? So that's a good plate there. All right? I'm going to get that, that out. Oh, wow. Then Matt, very fancy. He made a little bit brown butter drizzle that you guys can just do on the top like that. Look at that. Look at the drizzle there. Look at the drizzle. Woo! Now we're going to have a little bit of fried sage on it. Look at that. Fried sage. We're going to do a little bit of pancetta. Pancetta is where wet bacon wants to be when he graduated to adulthood and take a trip to Italy. Look at this thing. Look at these gorgeous things right here. Look at that. There, see that? And then truffle. It's important you understand that right now you're like shaving a wedding ring away. These things is expensive. And we do it for you guys. Yeah, easy, very easy, very. Look at that. If you want it easy, you wouldn't give it to me. Look at that. Bam. Now, guys, this is this is a dish worth of being part of the largest wine club in the world. And not only this dish, let's make me switch right here. I would like to talk about the tiramisu for a second. Do you want to pass me the tiramisu, please? Yes, sir. And, uh, and uh, what is the pull-up bread? Please give me the bread. Because oh. I thought you would have gave it to me right away, and I would have had some you already. Do you like grapes? No, you, la you left it. No, gra grapes. What am I, ballerina? I don't like grapes. I don't want to eat grapes. I want to eat cheddar bread or whatever it is. Look at these things. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, man. Wow. All right. Oh, God. 
Mm. And this shit's delicious. I love this. Wow. And tiramisu. Now, growing up in Italy, you might think I've shaved extra truffle in here, which I did. That's a lot of damn truffle. Look at that. Look at this thing. Now, that's a lot of truffle. Right? But that's okay. Because it's the biggest wine club in the world, so we bear no expenses. I didn't grow up with money, guys. I didn't grow up with fancy ingredients. I didn't grow up with these things, Tim. This is a treat to be your friend. It's a treat to make these dishes. And, uh, and the tiramisu story is a very simple one. I grew up with a lot of chickens. I have chickens in my backyard right now because it reminds me where I come from. We have 50 chickens. 50 chickens give you a lot of eggs every day. Sugar, it's always been cheap. <laughs> Never cost right. very much. And if you mix egg yolk and sugar with a little bit of mascarpone cream, which, by the way, we invented in Italy. So in Italy, it's not that expensive. It's imported. It's expensive here. But in Italy, it's cheap. We make a great tiramisu cream. Espresso is part of our culture. Rich, poor, broke, wealthy, doesn't matter. You have espresso. And Ladyfinger, they're easy and widely available in Italy. So a whipped egg yolk with sugar and mascarpone cream, with soaked espresso Ladyfinger. It was always a treat on Sunday at home in our family. Now my family, of course, got bigger, it includes you guys. And I had to make sure that the dish was here, the bread, which I love, and Matt introduced me to it. It's present. And look at this damn, like, that's a lot of damn truffle here. <laughs> look at these things, bro. This is like a 200 bucks worth of dish. Amazing. Some gnocchi. So, guys, again, I couldn't be happier to host you for, for this dining experience. Um, this is family for me. It really is. You know, a lot of people out there see the successes that they have and they had in the past, but very, very few have experienced the struggle of it. I, I know a lot about that, and I got to give credit when credit is due. It, this guy's a wonderful human being. He's a friend, he's a brother to me. Matt, uh, get, get your ass oh, on. Come on. Come on. Bro, bro. This, is like, this is like my extended family, and especially when you're extended family and you bring food like this at home, I mean, I will get you in if you're a stranger, if you're being this kind of food. Yeah, definitely. So but when it's family, it's actually better. Cheers, guys. If you have some final words for everybody. Well, we're going to open up to some questions. But, yeah. Fabio, thank you so much. I love this. It, it, thank you so much for opening up your home to you and your wife. Uh, amazing for this all of our wonderful members there. And we're going to put a dent on the, on the <laughs> bourbon cabinet, right, when you guys are going away. <laughs> but aside from that. Uh, please, some question. Let's, let's go. Let's uh, scoot down just a little please. bit here. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bring in the bread. Um, do this first. So we asked you folks, we asked you folks to, to post some pictures of your favorite events and uh, what you were having for dinner tonight. And Fabio, why don't you do this? So this is, this is your one. All right. <laughs> she won a $100 gift card. Lizzie Jones. Very good. Awesome. Lizzie Jones. Awesome picture on social media. You want a hundred dollar. And by the way, Lizzie, let me know. Just do me a favor, Lizzie. I'm gonna throw an extra freaking bone at that. Look at that. Make sure you reach out to the social media people that handle all the Kubersock and Matt. And I'm gonna send you a set of my cookware because your wow. picture looks awesome. Lizzie, you, I got you. Then your food's going to even look better if you do stuff with Michael Queer. It's perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. So a couple questions have come in. So, Fabio, what has been your favorite moment with, with Tim? I think you should, you get, you, oh, we should switch places. That's a terrible. Wait, yeah. well, it's terrible. We should, we should get close while we talk about yeah. it. That's a, ter that's a terrible story. Um, so my most memorable moment, aside from, you know, let, let's get real for a second. This guy is a, a, an entrepreneur at heart. He had an idea. He surrounded himself with people that could make it better and bigger, and he damn ran with it. And 15 years later, you will see the results. But this dude is a regular dude. It's just like me. It's like an easy to handle. So I remember, I, I think it was our, because I've done 10 events with you guys. I think it was our second event. Not only he didn't know me as much as he does right now, but 
you know, and, and we Florida. were in Florida. Florida. We were out of town. We were both staying at a hotel at a convention center. Mm-hmm. And, and we, you know, we're crowd pleaser. We, we, you know, had a lot of people coming over after the event for pictures and whatnot. And we ended up just, you know, being hanging out with people till like, you know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. Somehow, um, they just released a, a, some, some ice wine. I remember the ice wine. Yes, a new ice wine. Yeah. They released a new, a new um, ice wine. And I love ice wine. I have a passion for ice wine. Almost as good as Parmesan cheese and truffle. <laughs> and he said, oh, how about this ice wine? It's fantastic. So we start drinking ice wine. I said, man, you know, we got a whole bottle. Let's, what are you going to do tonight? And he's like, you know, I'm, I'm here all night. I'm leaving tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm leaving tomorrow too. Let's hang out. And I said, you want to watch a movie? And he was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, let's go watch a movie. We're all staying at the same hotel. You got me a big suite. Let's watch a movie. So we went. We went back to my room with a nice wine, two glass, and we super ended up romantic. super romantic. <laughs> and we ended up in my suite on the bed, queen's king size bed. Now we had each leg, each <laughs> le- le- he has the right leg off, and I had a leg. But we ended up in bed watching a movie together. We barely knew each other then. And my wife called me right in the middle of the movie, and she said, "Honey, are you done with your event?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm with Tim in the room. We're watching a movie." And my wife's like, what do you mean in the room? And I'm like, yeah, it's in my room. We're laying on the bed, drinking wine and watching a movie. And my wife said, well, that's weird. And she hung <laughs> up on me. And I was like, oh, is it weird? And he was like, ah, we're good, bro. And that's it. I'm the only, only celebrity chef, friends of Cooper Zock, that has shared a king bed with the CEO of the company. That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations for us, yeah. huh? Congratulations to us, my so, friend. Yeah. So, Tim, after 10, of, 10 events uh, with Fabio, how did you guys meet? So we met, so Di Sortino, who uh, runs the winery today. Um, so she's worked at the company. Uh, we worked together, D. I I hope you're watching for, uh, I don't know, the whole time it feels like. And so when we came up with the idea of working and doing some collaborative events, she said, uh, we, should, uh, we should get Fabio. And uh, I'm like, who's Fabio? She's like, he's hot stuff on Top Chef right now. And I'm like, what's Top Chef? Uh, so when you're, you know, doing the yep. entrepreneur thing, like I didn't watch television for uh, probably the first 12 years of Cooper's Too busy running restaurants. That's right. So, uh, so I said, I don't know, do what you want to do. So she, Dee, sent an email to uh, you and your organization. And yeah, uh, right, right. Hey, you probably answered. And, but uh, then and we answered. had like, we had two restaurants each, yeah. really. It wasn't yeah. like a big deal. And you're like, sure, cool, I'll do it. And so uh, you went to Arlington Heights and I said, well, I want to meet, you know, Fabio and get there early. So I got there early. I came down and we, uh, you were impressed with the business. I had I'm very I was impressed. impressed by you. And uh, I don't know. I think like we started talking about both of our businesses and, and in five minutes, we were like, we're just drinking wine and drinking wine. 45 minutes later, we're two bottles in. Yeah. And we're like, hey, we got to have an event right now. Let's hold it off for later on. Yeah. But I yeah. think what's incredible. So Fabio was so complimentary about what we've uh, created at Cooper's Talk. And, and I'm grateful for all the kind words. But you have to understand of all the celebrity chefs and all the celebrity wine people and you know, Fabio is a, he is a brilliant business mind, but I would even say also a brilliant mind. The things that he's done outside of just, you know, building restaurants and all the, uh, what we talk about today, the casinos and everything you've done. Yeah, all the I business. mean, you know, it's, uh, you are, uh, you're a one of a kind. Uh, I gotta catch up with this guy, you yeah. know, I'm trying, I'm, I'm hanging, I'm trying. Just trying. Just I'm trying. I'm just yep. You're, you're gonna, <laughs> hey, what a great race, huh? I I mean, we should tell everybody, what, what did we commit to that uh, ten we years run from now. now? 10 years from now. So 10 years from now, we, we just made a date 10 years from last year. So yep. nine years yep. from now, me and him, we're going to be retired. We're going to have a weekend together and we're going to brainstorm <laughs> about the next big thing the next after big thing. he's done with his business and I'm done with mine. Although people like us will never, never be done be with done. this business, yeah. but yeah. For, we'll clarity, always, we'll never be done. for clarity, we'll never be done. <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to be doing something else too. And I bet you we do it sooner. Yeah. I mean, how fun, right? You guys, if you want to send in some, uh, some cool stories, how about a cool story about uh, yeah. doing a collaborative restaurant together? Oh, I would love Blow that. your mind. I would love that. I would love that. You know how to scale the, the business? I know how to run it. Yeah. We're good. We're good. 100%. So, Fabio, everyone's looking here at your uh, bourbon collection here. What is your favorite that you have up here in your collection? So, there is two Ooh. favorites. There is one favorite and one favorite because it's the most expensive. Um, most expensive, I would say, is an Ibiki Tori. This is a Japanese uh, Suntory whiskey. 
And this bottle, it's probably going for about 14 grand right now in the United States. It's not even allocated in the United States. And I have over there, I have a full allocation all years of Pappy Van Winkle, which is, you know, it's an overpriced bourbon. It's fun, delicious. Yes, but they have, you know, three, four hundred dollar market price if you can get it. Mm -hmm. And retailer, they sell it for anywhere from three to ten grand a bottle because it's very limited and it's an excellent one. I have built a successful um, virtual event business as well as in-home event business. During time of COVID, of course, you can you know, go to my website, fabioviani.com. You can hire me for corporate event and virtual stuff. And if you can get in person in Chicago, which we can, you can have dinner with me in my estate in the burbs of Chicago. I live in Barrington Hills. You can be in my kitchen with me wearing an apron, drinking bourbon, picking wine from the cellar. We try to get hands-on with the friends that we have, family, client, customer, guests, in, in all sorts of experience. Of course, COVID threw a, a, threw a big curveball for everybody, you know, and, and uh, folks like us, they need to go with the punches. And one of the punches is, you know, virtual event. And this was absolutely one of my favorite. Yeah. No, it's great being here. Awesome. Well, Fabio, hey, we have uh, we have one last surprise for you. And another one. I'm not sure if everyone knows <laughs> that this past Saturday was your birthday, and we love to you celebrate. Turn 27. We love to celebrate. 27. <laughs> but we love to celebrate our friends even more. So, just a, a quick story: the the first dessert that uh, we did together was a, a panna cotta with um, cereal milk. And then the next one was was something with Nutella. I think I can't remember. The exactly. bottom of the the milk bowl. Yeah. Capitan Crunch and heavy cream. If yeah. you soak Capitan Crunch and heavy cream, then you remove the Capitan Crunch. You add a little bit of gelatin. You're gonna have a beautiful panna cotta that tastes like the bottom of the cereal milk. Because let's be honest here, nobody likes cereals. What's to like about cereals? Nothing. The good part about cereals is the bottom of the bowl and the milk that tastes like cereal. <laughs> so we made a whole dessert about it. We did. Yeah. It was awesome. And I know you're a nut about Nutella. Nutella uh, is very Italian. And um, so we have something very uh, special for you. Uh, and I want you to know, I didn't buy this anywhere. I made this yesterday oh, in my house. Man. And uh, we want to say happy birthday to you. This is for you and your family. We're not going to cut this here. <laughs> we can cut it tonight if you want. Hazelnuts. But uh, it's got 10, 10 layers of, uh, of chocolate cake and Nutella ganache and uh, chocolate mousse. And it's, and it's uh, Italian hazelnut. Cream. Look at that. Absolutely. I love so, you, man. Yeah, you too. You're the best. You are one, of, one in a million. We love doing events with you. In, I love uh, you guys. Oh, this couldn't is a, be happier. So. This is a big extended family and... Uh, uh, anything you need, I'll always be here for you guys. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Take it hey, home. So, yeah, take it home. I can take it home after all that. Fabio, thank you, Where's my brother. I was lucky to uh, – oh, yeah, let's put the jacket back on. Jacket back on. Yeah. yeah, come on. Hold you can on. wear this in the theater when we watch hey, the yeah, drink like a 10 grain with a bourbon. <laughs> there you go. Up a little more. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that glove. So I've never, I don't think, uh, you know, I think my mom and uh, sister and Liz and everyone would agree that, uh, you know, I have great taste and friends and I am blessed to have you in my life. I showed up tonight uh, to Fabio's house. He showed me his chicken coop. I did what a great friend would do, accidentally let all the chickens out. So yeah, Fabio chase spent chicken the chasing chicken chickens for 20 to get minutes. Him back in. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but man, we are, uh, we're grateful. All of us at Cooper's Talk, our entire membership, all of our 6,000 team members, we're grateful for you. You make our life special interesting and uh thank you I, I appreciate that and by the way i just want to personally thank you guys i know it, it, it's very testing time you know uh, regardless how we feel about covid uh whether it's a, an incredible threat for humanity health or it's an overblown flu they uh, the the effect on business and people are real you know restaurants and and, and businesses like us they are affected by and and while i am not an hyper, a hypocrite and i know that personally i will be fine and you're gonna be fine and you're gonna be fine there is thousands and thousands of job on the line so any way you can support folks like team and his restaurant and mad and our restaurant 
we feed a lot of people. And, and, and my main priority in the last six months has been to figure it out how to pay for the thousand employees that have been at home. So you guys participating to these, you guys having a dinner out, you guys ordering a bottle of wine, join the, the wine club, are actually helping people feed their family. And I just want to thank you for it. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Fabio. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Thanks Thanks for for Cheers. Thank you.